All right, so we've got that cabbage doing it just right. Now we want to do an animation for the farmer. And the animation for the farmer, uh, we will, you know, the farmer's just watching, right? So let's call it watch. And we also want this to, we want this to be the same length, and I also want it to be linear. So I set up the animation like that, and then I can create a keyframe for the farmer. And this one's going to be called watch. And I, I kind of, at the zero percent, what do I want to have going on? So I'm going to position there. And th now this, the farmer, I'm going to do a few, another one of transforms. I'm going to do transform. I'm going to be moving him. And so, well, um, at first, ultimately, I'm going to be using transform, but right now I don't want him to do anything. So I'm just going to leave him sitting there. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm just going to translate him um, zero pixels and comma zero pixels. Okay, so that's how much you move him left at the x way, right, right or left, and y how much you move him up and down. So I don't want him to move at all. So at 0%, I'm just going to leave him there. He's going to sit there and watch until at 20%. Okay, so the cabbage is growing at 20%. The cabbage is almost at two. So he sees that he's going. So he's going to turn around and start to leave. So at 20%, we're going to transform again. But this one, what we're going to do is rotate. So we're just turning him around. And there are several rotates, but I want to flip him on the Y direction, right? So I'm actually changing the Y and really flipping around the X axis. So I'm going to do the rotate Y, and I'm going to do it by 180 degrees. And that just turns him all the way around. Okay, so let's go see if um, we see that. Okay, now watch what happens here. He starts right away to rotate. Do you see that happen? And then he rotates back. I haven't told him. He's just moving back to his original position. So I have to tell him a whole bunch more. So what happens is when it starts, this property um, begin. it starts to make the transform from the beginning to that. So what I have to do is I want him to stay facing that way one. So what I'm going to do is at 20%, I'm going to leave his transform at zero degrees. And what that does is that says from zero to 20%, rotate zero degrees. And that's what I want to do. Then I can set it at 23%. I can say move from zero degrees to 180. So that way I have him change from 20 to 23% rather than all the way from 0% to 20%. So here's how I'm forcing that change to happen in a specified amount of time. Because I don't want him to start right away at zero. Okay, so let's save that. Uh-oh, something's not colored quite right. Oh, it's because it's 120 degrees, not pixels. Notice that the editor is very helpful in that way that it colors things. Okay, so now we should wait 20% of the time to his growing. Then he turns around and he can start to leave. And notice I need to set that. <clears throat> he starts coming back because he's going to get back to that 100% um, where he is at his regular position. So let's go ahead and put that here so we can actually see it. It's going to happen anyway. If we don't say anything, it's going to go back to the original position. So let me go ahead and get it so we know that that's what's happening. And it's really back to zero degrees by the time we get back to 100%. We see that that's always happening, so we're going to change that. So what we're going to do is we're going to have him turn around. He turns around pretty fast, and then he starts moving. So we want him to move over there. So from 23% to 45%, he's going to transform. But now he's going to transform by translating. Okay. So he goes to translate. Uh, to translate, And now we say, okay, how much do you want him to move along the x-axis and how much along the y-axis? Well, I just want him to move around the x-axis. And this is a negative value because I'm moving him to the left. And I don't want him to move up and down at all, so that will be zero pixels that I'm moving him up and down. And I want him to keep moving, um, and I want him to just, um, I want him to keep doing that. So let's go ahead 
And in fact, I want him to stay that way clear until he gets to 60%. So I want him to move over there between 23 and 45. And then I want him to stay over there until it's 60%. So notice how I just have him staying steady from 45 to 60. Comes along, the cabbage grows, he turns, he leaves, up, oh, he starts to rotate back. Notice he's moved off, but he's rotated. So I've got to keep that rotate in there or else he'll rotate back because he, he's going from rotate Y to here. So I want to put that, make sure that I have, and I can do this with transform, can have those three properties, right? Rotate translator scale. And so I'm going to make sure I keep that rotate 180 degrees in there. And when do I want him? Um, and then I have to decide when I want him to rotate back to zero. So from right here, for sure, when he gets back here, the 60%, I want him to be back to zero. All right, so notice how we're moving him around. Okay, we watch it, it grows, he's happy, he turns around, he leaves. And he turns around, he's ready to come back. He hears something happen. But we need to figure out when we want that to be, and he comes back. And so we'll go ahead and have him. Um, that might work out just fine, or we might want to add a few more things in there. 